New Zealand is my home, but I grew up in Iraq when Saddam Hussein was in charge. At that time, being critical of the government was illegal. It was a crime to insult the Arab community or a government official, even if you were telling the truth. Having the wrong opinion wasn't just illegal, it was dangerous. It made no sense to get in trouble for your beliefs, but it was our life. The security service tortured people all the time. It was scary stuff. Branding, electric shocks, dripping acid on the skin. Experts believe around 250,000 people were killed. It wasn't only speech that was controlled. We weren't allowed to gather unless it was to express support for the government. The government also controlled what we could hear from the outside world. There were no foreign TV stations and you couldn't have satellite TV. What you did hear was mostly propaganda. We were told that we won the Gulf War. Officially, Iraq won because of God and the power of the military. Although Saddam Hussein was not very religious, he incorporated Islam into his policies. My family didn't share his faith or his politics. We dreamed of a new life where we all could believe and speak without fear. We were tired of feeling afraid and wanted to find a country where we were free to be ourselves. My parents packed up our lives and immigrated to Aotearoa. Life in New Zealand has been wonderful for us. And although immigrant families face many challenges, it was all worth it to start a new life for our Fano. I finished my schooling here and studied journalism and public health. Recently, I've been seeing things that remind me of the country we escaped. Traditionally, Kiwis have valued the open exchange of ideas. Having debates and discussions have been encouraged. Things look like they are changing. It's starting to look like you're not allowed to have concerns or questions. Forget about having debate or even a discussion about some topics. Just swallow and follow. I hear the word tolerance used all the time, but I'm not sure what the word means anymore. Instead of tolerance, meaning everyone is allowed their point of view, it gets used to shut down discussion and even maybe shame the person for not agreeing. Since naming and shaming isn't always enough, our government is thinking about hate speech laws, which might make offending others a crime even though most Kiwis know that thoughts are not crimes. Hate speech laws sound way too familiar to me. A new law won't work. All that happens is that the ugly thoughts are driven underground. The answer is more free speech, not laws against hate speech. What makes this country great is that we give everyone a fair go. Some will say things aren't that bad, no one will take your life. That's true, but your freedom to think and speak is not so safe. I know what happens if we keep heading down this road. Let's not take our freedoms for granted. To quote JFK, the cost of freedom is always high, but we've always paid it. And one path we will never choose is the path of surrender or submission. He is right. Freedom is never free. My name is Mina Amso, journalist and podcaster for The Common Room. For more videos like this, subscribe at commonroomnz.com.